Yo, what's going on guys? Before you check out this video, I just want you to know if you're on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you check those out down here below because I'm constantly putting up content on those as well if that's your platform. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner, your overtime athlete. Just wanted to make a video with you guys today, um, kind of displaying an exercise that I'm utilizing towards the end of the off season with some of my athletes. Now, um, <clears throat> this is a row exercise, so typically what I like to do in the beginning of the off season is <clears throat> I'll start with a closed chain, either some kind of bent over barbell row, maybe some kind of um, you know heavy low cable row. I really like to start to, start to work those in the beginning of the off season. Um, towards the middle, I might start performing one arm where we're, now we're going, you know, open chain and, and performing exercises that are going to uh, maybe support them where they have to use more of their body, so more musculature here. You know, they're standing in a seated position, so they have to stabilize and they're coming from here. But as I start to get towards the end of the season, I want to, end of the off season, I want to start incorporating more um, dynamic movements, integrating the body, integrating the lower body. And one of them that I like to do is just gonna be a single arm ca cable row um, where they're essentially just performing a one arm with a rotation. So this is a very highly integrated movement. Not only are we using our lower body as a base, we're also using our torso to be able to slightly rotate. And then we're using our back because it still is a row. So what I like to teach is I want to have an athlete just for this particular one. There's a couple different variations that I like to throw in, a couple variables I like to throw in with my guys, but to start off with a base, I like just outside shoulder width. I want my first toe to be facing forward, right towards the post of where we're actually pulling from. This back leg is gonna be not create a 90 degree angle at my heel, and it's gonna be force or face this way. So from here, from this stance, with my lower body, I'm simply driving off this front leg and shifting it into that back leg. As I'm driving, I'm integrating a slight rotation. So not really necessarily at the belly button, but at the shoulder, I'm slightly rotating. I still have to stabilize so it doesn't throw me back in. Remember, you could go pretty heavy on this one as soon as you get the form done. So it's gonna try to pull you back so you have to decelerate properly. From here, I'm just gonna keep my elbow tight and drive, driving that elbow straight back. So what you see, bang. So I'm shifting, rotating, and pulling at the same time. This is a drill I believe that you absolutely need to use for most of your athletes. Great pulling drill, auxiliary lift to complement any of your pushing. Check it out, try it out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.